We have something new we're talking about today, and that's the Purdue CME Group Ag Barometer Index. And Dave Lehman, who is the head of commodity research at the CME Group, is here to tell us a little bit about this. It's a new product, and it is a sentiment report from producers. So tell me a little bit about that. That's right, Fritz. We developed this with Purdue University. Um, they uh, survey 400 farmers monthly to ask really what their sentiment is, what their feeling is about uh, the agricultural markets in the near term and then one year from now. So we have a current index and a future index. And this is released monthly, first Tuesday of the month. Correct. Released monthly. It's, uh, I said, 400 farmers monthly. We also add in 100 agribusiness uh, officials or executives on a quarterly basis. Uh, it's based on October 2015 through March of 2016 uh, baseline. So the number that came out today of 112 uh, is 12 points over the baseline from that October through March time period. Now we were talking a little bit about what these numbers exactly mean. It was interesting because even though commodity prices are down a little bit currently, they were up earlier in the year and you had an interesting insight as to why producers, farmers, would be happy about the situation. Right. Well, one, their costs are declining and as they look out a year, they expect they see crude oil prices low. That's a key input into their fertilizer costs as well as their fuel costs, obviously. Um, so the lower costs, I think, are leading to more uh, higher expectations in the future. Also, we had a rally in crop prices a couple of months ago. Many farmers likely took advantage of that and hedged their uh, new crop, which they'll be harvesting this fall, and are going to realize a higher price for that than if they're selling in the spot market today with these low prices. That's uh, probably a difference for, for uh, or indicator of why that difference exists. And, and of course, we were also discussing how the, the growing season this year was particularly, I should say, nice here in the, uh, in especially the Midwest, right. so it's been very productive. Yeah, I saw this morning we had, I think, one of the hottest Julys in recent memory, but also a very wet July, and that makes for good growing conditions. So yields are going to be good. USDA is projecting record yields, and so they'll have a lot of quantity to make up for the low prices. Now, of course, this isn't just when we think about growing corn, wheat, soybeans, mm -hmm. but there are other producers that are in the index as well. That's right. The 400 producers are picked based on the relative values of the commodities in the global or in the U.S. economy. So corn, wheat, and soybeans are kind of dominant in those 400, but it also includes livestock producers, cattle, hogs, uh, 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 some other commodities as well. Because you mentioned uh, cotton, uh, cotton, which yeah. is, you know, not when, uh, consumable in the sense that we don't eat that, but it's obviously part of the agriculture. We, we exactly, wear it. That's right. exactly. So, so. Yeah. Well, Dave, I want to thank you for joining us, and we expect to have you back here next month with uh, some more trends on this, and uh, we'll hopefully also see the executive part of that report as well. My pleasure, Fritz. Thanks for having us.